man, today is not my day for this live. My God. I don't know what's going on. Sorry about that, uh, for the topsy turvy shit that's going on. I'm really trying to like get this uh stand working for the uh live, but it's just gonna have to overheat, so screw it. I'm gonna send the uh I'm gonna finish out the request real quick. Uh just gotta get my things together for the effects. There you go. Alright. Back in the building studio. Episode 43, uh, today we had the wonderful guest of Justice Gray in the building, uh, in the building again, once again, so, uh, uh, real quick, just, we were talking about, um, the last thing we were just was the events that you did with, uh, the tapies and pretty much, like, talking about artists releasing music at a time like this where everything's just going on and everything's kind of going topsy-turvy. Uh, from the music journalist standpoint, I wanted to see how you felt about just artists kind of like straying away or at least walking the tightrope where as though they don't say anything. Oh, um, I would rather, I'm talking about celebrities or like local artists. I don't, celebrities, are, yet. I don't care. Uh, I'm talking about just straight up artists. I'll say this. I would rather you say nothing than to say something and sound ignorant. Because I think the most important thing right now is education. Like we have to educate, like like I'm never gonna like bash somebody, like talk down them because they don't know anything. Like we know our public schools are trash, bro. So I'm not aiding, I'm not aiding the problem talking down on you because you don't know your history or why things like this, you were never taught. So like as a journalist, it's my job to actually write about that and help you. So I'm not gonna, you know, demonize you for that. But please, 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 if you don't know what you're talking about, it's better to say nothing than to spread false information. Cause we see how we see how quickly that gets up. Like we see how quickly you can say something on Twitter. This person is just as ignorant as you, and that spreads like wildfire. And then everybody's believing something that has no truth behind it. That's dangerous. That's very dangerous. Very dangerous. I would honestly rather you say nothing. <laughs> so, um, first of all, great answer, by the way. I really appreciate that. Because um, that don't help, bro. Like, I see people all the time talk down on people because they don't know anything. I'm like that, that doesn't help. That doesn't help. It doesn't. It does. And as a person that usually talks a lot, especially about things that I don't know about, it's really great to just shut up sometimes. Yeah. It, it really is. And it's nothing wrong with shutting up. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, so, just to get that out of the way, because I felt as though the elephant or pig in the room, we had to discuss, like, you know what I'm saying, just straight up knowledge of, like, uh, civil unjust. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't really have that knowledge. So, that was just that. So, the one thing I really wanted to talk to you about within this is hip-hop media in Baltimore. Mm-hmm. I recently spoke to, two weeks ago, uh, to Joey Bricks during this inter- uh, during the interview. Great interview. So, Great guy. Thank you, thank you by the way. <laughs> but uh, we were talking about like just hip hop media in general and how it kind of doesn't really have a strong presence within the city. And mm-hmm. I accredited it. Um, I accredited demo tape because you guys not only like cover artists that aren't just like you know what I'm saying in the downtown locker room circle circuit. Mm-hmm. But we also cover artists that's just straight up all the downtown over. locker rooms. I, I I have I have to I have to be that honest. just now hit me up. <laughs> I have to be honest. With that. Like how you have the same circle of like artists that just like gets constant play in ninety two Q or the constant play within just downtown locker room, and a lot of times they don't really pan the light on any other type of art in both mm-hmm. and demo tape does a great job with that because you can find any artist on any article or even in any playlist that you guys create mm-hmm. so what would you accredit that to when it comes to diversifying the sound that you guys uh cover i think i have to do it because if we don't do it then who will do it 
Like, that's why we have the Welcome to Baltimore playlist. That's why we have the tapes. That's why we have the write-ups and all the segments and home team first. Like, if we don't do it, who else will do it? Like, I like, I like, I like to, like, see people not complain about things that aren't present instead to just, like, make them present. Instead of, like, complaining all day, like, yo, we don't have this, we don't have that, we don't have this. Go ahead and make it. Nobody's stopping you from making what you want. I completely agree. I'm pretty sure the problem is as well. Uh, <laughs> so one of the things that you do, guys do cover, both on it before, was the um, straight up uh, playlist that you guys put on, which is like the Welcome to Baltimore playlist. Um, I wanted to talk to you about the culmination of the playlist because it just seems like one anybody could create, you know what I mean? But with demo tape, it almost seems like a huge deal to be on like Walking the Baltimore playlist. Would it be considered your um? Should I appreciate playlist? that? What? Um, of course. The- I'm updated. I'm just like, oh, who's on here now? It's almost like X Men, like double XL freshman list, like but every month. <laughs> Um, I think that's my favorite playlist. I think the team would get mad at me if I told them that was our best playlist because we get real competitive. But I think as far as me, that's the one I get excited about the most. I, I I don't know what it is, yo. We live college shows. Four shows. I have the same, like, setup. Nobody's using Wi-Fi. Everything. The one time I wanted to bring some light to us. It's probably on my end. I took my phone to... Um, humble high you I think the link is in my bio. Like, click the link in my bio, and then no, it's probably not there. Click the link in the demo takes bio, and then scroll down to where you see the picture of the from the Baltimore on the IG, and then click that, and it's on Spotify, title, and Network Music. Sorry about that. Uh, it was a huge cut um as he being IG, uh, discussing how like it was a real competitive playlist. So is um, sixty minutes playlist, which is the actual concept that you guys do. So the <laughs> idea for the six playlist and not that who uh I guess what would be the benefit of the sixty minutes in the playlist? Um, I guess that just goes back to like me wanting to like paint the artist as a holistic person. It's not just like the force feed you their music, but like, hey, like this is what they're listening to. Like this person went make trap music, but their plays on a daily basis, Mary J. Blige and you know, Kehlani or something, like something like completely contrasting what you expect. So I think that's interesting, like see the artist and like what they listening to and what inspires them to make the music that they make instead of like, you know, just force feeding music. You can't just force feed music to people. I also want to talk, talk about the quote that you use when it comes to the music. I feel as though in 2020, music is really hard to sell nowadays. So um, It is, because there's so much of it. Yeah, like, instead of just saying, hey, I got a single, check it out, a lot of people do their, like, um, do, like, certain promo plans. They do certain, like, campaign runs. Or the root of that could, because it feels like oversaturation of get your opinion on the cause of it. 
Could you hear me? I swear to God. 